Hi guys, welcome back to Pointy Not Sharp. Um, today I thought I'd do a, a recap on um, how the channel's gone through 2023 and where I'd like to go to from here. Now, while I discuss this, I thought I'd show you all of the bayonets I've added to my personal collection this year. So this is my Portuguese selection. I've got another four or five bayonets uh, on top of these. Uh, and these are the ones I've added to my collection this year. Very, very happy with them. And I've got another one coming as well. It's a Portuguese M937. It's in pristine condition, but I paid way too much money for it and it's taking absolutely forever to come in the mail. So hopefully not much longer and it should be a great video when I get it. Anyway, guys, the channel started this year with uh, 800 subs back in uh, January, and uh, since then, we've done really, really well. We're up to 2,600 at the time of filming and uh, having a great time making these videos for you. Uh, last year's recap, I mentioned that it is getting more and more difficult to find bayonets to um, review, to do videos on, and that remains true even now. I'm probably down to about six or seven bayonets I've got left that I haven't reviewed. So um, I'll do my best, but <laughs> if I do start to run out of content, I've got a couple of ideas. I wouldn't mind revisiting some of my earlier videos like my Australian L1A2 and um, STG57 because while the content's there, the information's good, um, I like to do it a bit more controlled I sort of machine gun through it and you know I've got better lighting now and I understand a little bit more about editing so maybe I can do a bit of a better job than I previously did <laughs> now moving forward I'd like to pretty much continue what I'm doing now and just sort of push out one video per week that seems to uh, work pretty well with my schedule uh, that said though I will try to push out the occasional bit of extra content when I get the opportunity like unboxing videos and things like that now these are the rest of the bayonets that I added to my collection this year and uh, I've got my two Polish WZ bayonets, very very hard to track down especially here in Australia. I've got this one super cheap and very very happy. My two fins and my Austrian Bendel. I actually intended to um, on sell this one when I bought it but it's just such a nice bayonet I couldn't bear to see it, see it go so I've um, held on to that. Anyway, moving forward from here, if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, guys, please comment below. Please let me know. Uh, if you know anyone based in Australia, particularly in the Sydney area, who has an extensive bayonet collection, I'd love to get in contact with them. Uh, I'd love to, uh, if they're open to it, maybe uh, do a video show their collection or individual pieces. It'd be uh, fantastic to network and meet other like-minded people in um, particularly the Sydney area here in Australia. Um, that's really all I have for you today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, but it has been an absolute blast, and um, I really enjoy all of the uh, the conversations and the support. Um, from here, just have a uh, happy new year, and I'll see you in twenty twenty four.